virtual summits are the most powerful online marketing tool available to grow your list, launch your platform, make more money, and create an impact in the world, even if you're just getting started. If you are ready to take your summit to the next level, then tune into the Virtual Summit Podcast with Dr. Mark T. Wade. Hi, I'm Dr. Mark T. Wade, founder of Virtual Summit Software and creator of the One Day Summit Formula. And I'm on a mission to help you, the summit host, get your summit out to the world in a powerful and impactful way. So let's get started. The outcome of your interview depends on you, the summit host, not the speaker. Don't leave your success up for chance. Own it using these strategies I'll cover today to prep your speaker. Hey there, Dr. Mark T. Wade here, founder of Virtual Summit Software and your host here on the Virtual Summit Podcast. Um, happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, dear Mark. Happy birthday to me. Yay. Okay. So today's not really my birthday, but it did just happen yesterday. So I figured I'd go ahead and celebrate with you, my Summit Tribe, and let you know what I wished for when I blew out the candles. And it is that your summit will absolutely crush it. That's my goal. It's my whole goal is to give you resources, trainings, tools, and knowledge you need to get your message out to the world. Now, this month, we're doing a special training series for all of you called Interview Like a Pro. The success of your summit depends on the impact of your interview. So it's so important you get some specialized training before jumping into your summit interviews. I don't care if you're a podcast host, a summit group host, you've done webinars all your life, you must have interview training. So that's why we're kicking off this amazing training series for you for free during this month. And you can check it out over at interviewlikeapro.com. Now in this training, we're going to cover the perfect intro, how to prep like a pro, the summit story arc, and the complete interview flow. But in addition to those special topics, which you absolutely must have in your interviews, I also want to talk today about another important topic related to the interview. And that's how to prep your speakers. Most people think that a good interview depends on your speaker. That is false. 70% of the outcome of your interview depends on the summit host, not the speaker. So let's talk about a few things right now that will help you prep your speaker. Let's get started. So we've got preparation, we've got research, we've got how to prep the speaker, and then finally, the pre-interview checklist. That's what we'll cover today very quickly. So first, let's start off by defining a few items about the interview, okay? So like, what are the different types of interviews out there? We've got traditional Q&A interview, which is, is what most of you are familiar with. This is where we essentially sit down and do an interview with a speaker. We ask them questions, they answer the questions. Now, some pros and cons to this. Pro is it's easier to get speakers to do this. They're much more likely to jump on a Zoom call with you and just answer your questions. They don't need to prepare for anything. They don't need to do anything. It's, it's just easy for them. Also, you have control and it allows you to build the relationships. Now, some of the cons are there are so many of these. So many of these. People see these all the time. And it 100% depends on you to make it great. Plus, because it's so easy for the speaker, most of them haven't done any prep work, so it can end up being a little less educational or impactful. Virtual Summit's software makes hosting a summit easier than ever. The only software in the world designed specifically for hosting a summit lets you set up a summit in a matter of hours with no tech skill or team needed. You can try out the Virtual Summit's software free at virtualsummits.com. But hurry, this is a limited offer. Now, the other two or three styles, we have traditional Q&A, we have presentation-based, we have hybrid, and then we have a specialized interview. So we just went through traditional. Presentation-based interview, though, is where it is just like it says. It's like the speaker does a presentation. Think of like a webinar or master class, and they typically are going to do that in advance. They would record themselves doing this, and then they'd send that interview or that presentation to you in the video format. And it's pretty cool. The pros are it's so much easier for you, the host. Obviously, you don't have to jump on 30 hours you know, worth of your time with 30 different speakers doing interviews. So it's much easier and it has much higher perceived value from uh, your attendees, from the audience. It feels like they're learning something. 
Now, the negative side of this is less speakers are going to agree to it. So it's going to be harder to get speakers to say yes. It can also be outside of your control, right? They're doing a video, they're recording it, and they're sending it to you. So you really got to make sure you go through it and make sure there's nothing in there that you disagree with or, you know, the speaker did a pitch when they're not supposed to, et cetera. And it really doesn't help you build the relationship. So it's great for perceived value, but it's really low on the relationship building side when it comes to the speaker. Now, the next one is the hybrid presentation. If we're going to be doing an interview, this is the style we typically recommend and we'd like to see more people doing. Now, this is essentially, you're going to do an interview. Well, you're going to hop on with the speaker. So you're going to intro the speaker into it. Then you're going to have the speaker present something for 5, 10, 20, 30 minutes, whatever it is. And then you may ask a couple Q and A's at the end of it and then close it out. So you're on there with them but you're still getting the presentation, the linear education kind of delivery with this, like you would a presentation while still building the relationship with the, the speaker. They're going to be more likely to do it, of course. Um, and yet it's higher quality, higher value. Now pros is like I just said, higher value. You still get the relationship. It's going to get more engagement from your audience. Um, and you, uh, it's less reliant on the host, meaning like the, you don't have to come up with everything. You get to be there, but the speaker is the one actually going to be presenting the information. Now, negative side of it is you still have less control of the content because they're going to be presenting something and it's going to be a little awkward for you to stop them in the middle of it if you don't like it. <clears throat> but it is probably one of the, it is one of the higher uh, levels as far as quality, time, and information while also building the relationship. Now, the last one we'll mention here, kind of special mention, is specialized interviews. Now, most people are not including these into their summit, although over at Viral Summits, our Viral Summits concierge, um, we are including lots of these in our summits because we are no more boring summits, right? We want to evolve summits, edutainment style summits. So we incorporate several specialized interviews throughout our summits. And these are things like a docu-summit, kind of like a docu-series, but in a summit format. Um, we incorporate debates. We incorporate panels. There can be workshops and things like that, like fireside chats. So still some interview um, interview style, but they're going to be way different than your typical high, uh, your traditional Q and a interview. Now, um, the, the huge pros on that is it's going to be different. It's going to be a pattern interrupt for your attendees. They're going to get a lot of, of engagement and value out of it. It's going to create in interest and, and it's going to stand out. So again, creating that edutainment style negative is it's going to take a little bit more time for you to prep, prepare, uh, uh kind of update your speakers on this, et cetera. So what's a good interview? Let's talk about that. So a good interview is high value. It's educational and it's new information. You can't sit here and interview, ask the same question that that speaker has been asked a hundred times. Don't do that. It's got to be new information. Also, the speakers are not going to want to share their their interviews if it's the same thing they've already been interviewed on a hundred times. Like their audience has already seen that. So you got to keep it high value. You got to make it educational because your audience does want education. Like they want, do want to be informed, but it also has to be new. And then it's got to be entertaining. Remember people want to be entertained. So how do we create entertain? How do we make something entertain? Entertaining is it needs to elicit emotional reactions, emotional responses. So it could be happy. It could be funny. It could be sad. It could be controversial, but we want them to feel something. It needs to be high quality, so try you make sure you have a good audio visual setup. Make sure background noises are minimized. There's no distractions going on. Be sure to check out the speaker management tool inside your virtual summit software, which lets you quickly and easily recruit and manage your speakers on your virtual summit, literally eliminating hundreds of hours of work. Get more information at virtualsummits.com. You also want a great interview, like to understand this, a great interview is 30 to 40% dependent on you, the speaker, or excuse me, on the speaker, 30 to 40% on the speaker, 60 to 70% on you, the interview host. So majority of the outcome of your interview depends on you. Now we talked about this in um, last week's episode, uh, uh, or we'll, we'll talk, we'll, well, we'll dive into this today. So that's some of the important aspects. So we'll jump into that. Now, ways to improve your interview. 
okay, is be different in how you do the interview. Don't be don't boring. It doesn't have to be bobbing head. It doesn't have to be 10 standardized questions. It doesn't just have to be questions. Change up the format. Change up the topic. Make it interesting. Do a theme. Do costumes. Do a, a skill. Do an activity during it. Just do something different. Ask different questions at the bare minimum. At least ask different things. Things they're not being asked by every other interview they're getting. Pull new information. So like make sure you're doing some research on them, which falls into being prepared and informed. You need to know what's going on with that speaker. What's happening? What do they have something new coming out? Do they have a certain stance on for or against something? Uh, and can you use that as an entertainment or educational component? And then know your audience and always fight for them. Now we'll talk about that a little bit more, but you always have to be fighting for your audience. Don't sit there and go, ah, oh, well, the speaker doesn't want to talk about that or, you know, they shied away from it. So I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to pressure them on it. No, 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 This isn't for your speaker. This is for your audience. So think about what do they need and fight for them. All right. So let's get into some of the pre-interview information. <clears throat> so how do you prep the speaker? A great interview is 60 to 70% the host, but it's still 30% from the speaker, right? So it's in your hands to ensure your speaker is prepped, informed, and ready for the interview. So you can, you can really minimize that from 30% of the, on the speaker down to about 10% of the speaker if we prep them correctly. So even if your speaker bombed, you could still pull off a decent interview. However, ensuring they are prepped reduces the likelihood dramatically that they're going to bomb. So how to prep the speaker? Here's what you need to inform them and prep them on, okay? So first off, we need to send the speaker the format of the interview. They need to know what's going to happen. Make sure they're clear on it. If you're doing a specialty uh, interview, like a you know, DocuSummit style or a debate style or anything like that, of course, the speaker needs to know in advance. They need to know what the format is. Make sure they're clear on it. If it's a hybrid where you're going to intro and they're presenting, they need to know about that. Do they need to have slides? Do they need, how long should they be? How long should it, you know, can they go? What can they do with it? Speaker specific info. You, so you need to make sure they're clear on the date and the time and then the topic of the speaker. Okay. Submit. I, then you have your speaker submit five different talking points. So this will help you also craft some of your interview questions. So you're not just coming up with it on your own. They can submit some information because there's going to be things that they're going to want to specifically talk on, but you can use that as a baseline to then start your research process and go find more or specific information and make it relate to the topic that you're doing your summit on. Prepare your speakers. Send a video to them on how to be prepared. You know, talk them through it. Here's how it's going to go. You're going to come on. We'll have a pre-interview chat. You know, we'll go through. We'll test audio visual. Please make sure you have a mic, this, that, everything else. Send them a video walking through it or at least send an email with everything they need. With the Ever Summit feature inside the Virtual Summit software, you can rerun your summit as if it were live ongoing forever with one click of a button. This now lets you continue to use your summit forever, bringing in qualified and engaged leads every month into your business. Get more information at virtualsummit.com. Now, we like to use an information page for our speakers. We have one when we're reaching out to speakers at the beginning to give them information on the summit to get them to sign up as a speaker. But we also like to just have the information that they're going to need for their interview as well on a page. Because honestly, most of the time, it's like 80% the same for every summit. So I use the same kind of information page and just make it more, you know, clone it, make it more specific uh, for that each that individual summit, but having information with the speakers so they can understand, like be efficient, put all the information in one area. If your speakers got to go look for it through 10 different emails, it's just not going to happen. Make sure you give everything to all of the speakers. Don't forget some. Okay. And then what equipment minimums do they need? Do you have a, do they have to have a certain level of mic? Do they have to have headphones on? Do they have to have certain lightings? Like what are your minimums? Let them know that in advance. Any relevant talking points that they need to prepare should be sent to them in advance. And do you let them know, do they get to pitch? Do they get to offer a lead magnet, a free gift? What's in there and what, what they're not allowed to do? Make sure they know that in advance. 
Then the interview specifics, of course, the type of interview is a presentation or hybrid time frame. How long? 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes. What to prepare? Do they need any visuals? Do they, are they wearing a costume? Do they need a PowerPoint? Um, are they allowed to make any kind of offers? So it's your responsible to make sure the speaker is prepared for success. It is not the speaker's fault if you have not sent them the information they need. So that's why we like to use the pre-interview checklist. So you should have some type of checklist. Well, in addition, like you need to make sure they have all this information. We use a pre-interview checklist, both from the aspect of the speaker, but also from us as a host when we're getting ready to do our interview. We don't want to forget anything, right? Stuff happens. Craziness pops up. A checklist keeps you from ever forgetting something like, mm, hitting record or your microphone being turned off. I mean, we've all had that problem before at least once. And if you haven't, don't risk it. Make sure you have a checklist. If you don't have one, we have one actually included in the interview like a pro training. So you can grab it for free there um, at interviewlikeapro.com. Again, that's interviewlikeapro.com. Also, it's a good idea to send your speaker a checklist. One, it makes you look really professional, but two, it accomplishes everything we just said there. It gives them everything they need in one simple, easy place for them when they're going to do their interview. So again, we use a pre-interview checklist for us as the host, which has everything I need right there for me as I'm doing the interview. Hit record, do an environmental check, a mic check, make sure my topic's ready, get my mindset right, everything I need right there. So it just becomes muscle memory. But we also send our pre-interview checklist to our speaker, which has one's uh, one completely customized for that speaker with everything they need, like the name of your summit, your name as the host. If it's hard to pronounce this as, uh, uh, you know, having it phenomenal, uh, having it spelt out so they can pronounce it, um, the time, the link to the Zoom, the things you're going to be asking them about, any details they need, they can have it right there when they're doing the interview. Again, makes you look super professional, but it also accomplishes the goal of making sure your speaker is prepared. And that is how you minimize a boring, a, a disaster of an interview is by making sure your speaker's prepared. And then you can minimize that down to about 10% versus 30 to 40%. So using a checklist is smart and effective. Uh, the worst feeling is wrapping up an amazing interview to realize you forgot to hit record. Ah, oh, that sucks, right? So this should now help you get your speaker prepped and ready to rock because you remember because remember, the success of your summit depends on the impact of your interview. And the outcome of your interview rests in your hands, not the speakers. So own it, nail it, and get your message out to the world. Be sure to sign up for that free Interview Like a Pro training at interviewlikeapro.com. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and I'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for listening. Now, don't forget to subscribe and leave a five-star review on the Virtual Summit Podcast. Head over to the show notes to check out all the links and resources from this episode, and be sure to grab your free trial of the Virtual Summit software. Now, I want to end this episode by saying to all the Summit hosts listening right now, I believe in you and you can do this. Summits are by far one of the most powerful ways to quickly grow your list, launch your platform, make more money, and most importantly, make an impact in the world, even if you're just getting started. So don't get caught up in analysis paralysis because the world needs to hear your message and there are people who are waiting for you to help them. So just get started because imperfect action is always better than no action. Thank you and see you on the next episode.